on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So in today's video we are starting a new project for the Hickory Handyman. We are pressure washing and painting this shed out here for this guy and we are going to be going across the entire thing cleaning it up. The top we are going to be putting a coat of primer on each side of the roof uh, laying down some white paint on top of that and just really cleaning it up making it look good. So the good thing about this one is he doesn't really have a preference of what we spray or what we don't. He wants the entire thing to be white. So we really don't have to mask anything off other than like the locks on the garage doors, the windows, and then he's got one door on the other side. We just gotta tape that stuff off and get to spraying. So these will be a lot easier than those other two sheds that we painted. And hopefully it'll be a lot less headache because we won't have to touch a brush or anything once we get the sprayer out. So I am starting the film a little bit late. We have started pressure washing already. We got one side of the roof done and one side of the building because one of our pressure washers that we're borrowing from my father-in-law had some issues. So that slowed us down. Our water hoses are giving us some issues. So it's kind of just been a rocky start, but overall we're doing okay. I'm getting ready to actually switch the pressure washers, put my pressure washer on the other side because we can get that hose up higher up on the roof get the Subaru over here and start working on some of the walls while Michael's eating his lunch. And hopefully from there, it'll be smooth sailing. But I'm gonna get back to work, so here we go. All right guys, so we're out here for day number two of this project and this is the fun day because we're gonna be laying down some paint across the shed. We got Michael, he is starting on masking. I am getting the paint sprayer ready and I'm gonna start painting while he is finishing all that. And then up on the roof, we actually cannot start on the roof just yet because of the way the roof was built. You'll see it once I get up there, but all the ridges are going sideways instead of down with the pitch of the roof. So all of the water gets caught up there. The owner knows about it. He knows it was built incorrectly, but honestly, he thinks if we get a coat of paint on it, it'll keep it from rusting. He won't have to worry about any holes and it'll make it until he doesn't need it anymore, which is probably pretty true. So we're gonna go ahead and just start down here with everything that's already dry. Uh, we don't have to put a coat of primer on this. We're just shooting it straight with the bare marquee. And then once we get done with five gallons of paint on the bottom, we'll go back up top, see if it's dried out enough for us to go ahead and lay the primer up top and get it done so we can come back down and finish the building. So with that, I'm gonna set this down and we'll get to work.
All right, guys, we are up on the roof here. We got it dry enough now that we can go ahead and lay our primer down. We're up on the roof here, and this is what I was talking about with the ridges. So you can see they are going sideways across the roof here instead of straight up and down. So all the water was getting caught up here. We blew it off with the leaf blower when we got here, and it seems to be pretty dry now. So we're gonna go ahead and try to lay our primer coat here. Uh, we've got three walls done, and then we've got both sides of the roof and one wall left. And we almost used five gallons of paint for two coats across the whole thing. So we're doing great on paint. We're just hoping that we can primer up here, get it done relatively quickly so it'll dry. And then we can lay down our last coat once we finish the last wall. But I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying some of this and get going and hopefully we'll be done in just a little bit. All right guys, so I'm in the truck right now and I need to film an outro for this video because my GoPro ended up dying while we were finishing up the paint on that shed, but it came out super good. And I'll post up some pictures right here so you can see the after or a before and after comparison of the shed from when we started to when we finished it. But what we ended up doing on the roof was getting it all cleaned off, dried off, and we used a primer sealer over the rust spots in order to make sure that rust didn't come back through and then followed it up with another coat of the Bear Marquee exterior paint. And ultimately that thing came out super good. Uh, it was definitely a much easier paint job than those first two sheds we did. We absolutely love working for this guy. So hopefully here in the near future, we're gonna have another video of a huge composite deck that we're gonna be putting at their house. It's gonna be somewhere in the realm of 30 feet wide by 30 some feet long. So it's gonna be an awesome deck and we can't wait to build that one and get it up on the channel for you. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about that paint job or anything that we've done or other videos that we have, please be sure to leave a comment and I will be sure to respond to all of them. And again, thank you guys for checking out these videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.